Bruce, trans fatty acids, bad, right? <laughs> They're very bad. When a vegetable oil is hydrogenated, mm. uh, trans fatty acids are produced. These are artificial fatty acids, fatty acids that the body does not recognize as food but it tries to utilize them like natural fatty acids, but it just doesn't work. That's so frustrating. Our food supply is full of trans fats, right? Right, you go to the grocery store and almost every produced product you find has hydrogenated oils in it. And hydrogenated oil means it, it has trans fats in it. And you don't want those. They're artificial, they're unhealthy. Are they in fast foods, that kind of thing? Oh, definitely. All fast foods are going to have hydrogenated vegetable oils in it. <laughs> That's <is> terrible. <laughs> you can't digest it. It digests, but the body doesn't know what to do with it. And it'll put it into a cell like a regular fatty acid, but the fatty acid, it's altered. It doesn't act like a normal fatty okay. acid. And so the cell, when it's made of trans fatty acids, is not very functional. It, it is less functional than it should be. And if it has too many trans fatty acids built into it, then it's dysfunctional. It doesn't function at all. Some examples of trans fatty acids would be? Well, trans fatty acids are in hydrogenated oils. So hydrogenated oils, that includes margarine and includes shortening. Shortening? Yes. Wow. So Crisco, shortening, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Uh, is loaded with trans fatty acids. And people use that for cooking biscuits and they cupcakes. They use it and for everything, and food manufacturers use it for everything. So you have to look at ingredient labels and look for hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated vegetable oils in the ingredients and avoid those products. And coconut oil is free of trans fats, so you can cook with it and bake Correct. with it. Correct. Um, coconut oil is a vegetable oil, but it doesn't need to be hydrogenated. Sometimes they do in manufacturing, but natural coconut oil mm -hmm. um, isn't hydrogenated. It's perfectly safe. Thank you, Bruce.